All right, we need to go ahead and figure out how to get our URL for the wall we want to share with our students. So that way they're able to get onto it and then start interacting with each other. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure we're logged into our Padlet account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we want to actually go ahead and create a new Padlet because this is going to be the one that we are starting fresh with and going to share with our students. So when we open up a new wall, remember it starts out pretty blank and basic. Um, what I'm going to do is look for this little gear at the bottom that says modify this wall and I'm going to click on that. And then within here I'm going to click on address. Now, when we're in this menu, you can see up at the top here, it says current address. Um, and if you look at the one that's automatically generated for this website, uh, the ending of it is actually pretty crazy. And if you wrote this on the board for your students, it would be a little bit difficult for them um, to understand and be able to type in accurately, um, especially if you're dealing with elementary students. The uppercase and lowercase and numbers can be quite confusing. So to make that a little simpler, we're actually going to go ahead and this section right below that says pick a new one, we're going to click the circle that says pick a padlet.com address. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now the first part of our URL is going to remain the same. Um, it demonstrates it right here, padlet.com slash whatever your username is, so mine is kfikes, uh, slash, and then we're going to pick what that last part is. So we'll no longer have this 5b75 and onward um, ending to our URL. So what I would suggest is usually picking something that has to do with your assignment. So um, let's say I was doing an assignment about the planets. I can go ahead and type in the word planets 1 because um, this will be the first part to our planet exercise. It will let you know over on the right hand side a green check saying that it's available. Um, this prevents you from making a second board that is also named planets 1. If you were using this for more than one class period, you might want to name it the section of your class period as well to keep them in order. But as long as this has a little green check, we're able to go ahead and click this blue pick button. And as soon as I click on that, if you notice right above where we had looked at current address, instead of the really long and confusing ending, it now says our new ending, Planets 1. Now in order to share this, I want to make sure I go ahead and highlight that URL. And we can either right click on it and go ahead and copy that URL, or we can use our keyboard shortcuts and do a control copy um, or control C or a command C. And now we have this URL that we're able to share out either by email or a link on a web page um, or even writing it up on the classroom board so that students can click on it or type it into their own web address and start accessing your wall and inputting onto it.